Hey there, everybody. This is Thomas Wood with Basecamp Trading, and we're going to be doing another successful trader interview talking to Andres Delgado, who's been doing a really, really good job over the past six, eight months showing consistent profitability in a number of different markets with a number of different strategies. So we have Andres with us here today. Andres, thanks for joining us. Oh, you're welcome, Thomas. Nice to uh, be talking with you again. Absolutely. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go through and talk a little bit about you and where you're coming from, kind of what your background is, and then and a little bit more about your trading and how you're doing with your trading and, and get some advice from you for other traders that might be struggling in similar areas. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, man. So, Andres, what made you want to start trading? Kind of what's your background? Because I know you haven't been doing this for, for your whole life. Uh, well, I retired from the military, and at that time, all I was um, investing in was mutual funds. Then I moved on to stocks. And when I retired from the military, went to another government job. And from there, I just uh, started trading um, options. And at one time, I was pretty successful at it. And then I guess uh, I ran out of luck at some point and decided to move to futures. And um, I, I went from one guru to another and another, uh, spent a lot of money in different trade rooms until uh, finally I found Basecamp Trading. And that's been the biggest success uh, okay. in my trading career so far. Good deal. So you, so you started off, you have a military background, and, and you started off just regular investing and then kind of went into options trading. And then after a streak of bad luck in options, you, you moved on and said, okay, I want to learn this a little bit better and dove into trading futures, which is kind of the normal path that most traders take. So uh, what kind of trader are you now, now that you're actually consistently making money? Are you day trading, swing trading? What type of trading are you doing? Uh, for the most part, I'm a day trader. Uh, I'm trying to move over to swing trading. And uh, okay. one way that I did that was with pairs, but now I'm trying to do it with individual futures, uh, okay. such as uh, the bonds. Okay, so so you're mainly um, making money from day trading and spread trading, future spreads, and then you're, you're trying to shift over and, and add swing trading and futures in there and, and kind of get bigger returns, slower returns, so you don't have to be constantly in and out of the market, right? Uh, right, and I don't want to babysit the trades all day long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get that freedom. Yeah. So how long did it take you to kind of get to the point where you are – starting to show consistency in your trading profits. And I'll, I'll show a couple of examples of your equity curve showing kind of the gains you're getting. Um, well, it started uh, when I finally uh, got my discipline down pat. You know, I mean, I was just going willy-nilly. Well, this, this doesn't work, and I didn't give it enough of a chance, and I would switch over to something else. Once mm -hmm. I started taking uh, a couple of mentorships from you, and that's where my discipline came in, but it still wasn't easy. I was still treading water, as most people would say, till finally I said, okay, I started taking real good notes. I went back to pairs trading, and that's where uh, it all took off. Um, and I've been consistent ever since. You know, I still have a bad day, uh, actually quite a few bad days, but the good days outnumber the bad days by yeah. a lot. Yeah, well, and that's the thing is losing, there's always always going to be losses in trading. Just because you have a loss or just because you have a couple of losing trades does not mean you're a losing trader. Uh, it's just part of playing the game. So this kind of ties into my next question then, which would be what was that major turning point in your trading career? Um, the major turning point I'm going to say is that when I really got down to discipline, you know, I learned, I, I tried, I still, I still suffered from uh, letting my emotions get involved. But mm -hmm. when I got the discipline down pat, you know, and I said, okay, I got a $200 loss. That was my max. I'm getting out. And and then I would, when I would get profits, I would take them at a certain point, let's say $150, and then trail. Just keep trailing it till I got stopped out. And that was the biggest change right there. Yeah, now, my emotions took a little bit longer to figure out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it sounds like it was you kind of finally made that commitment. You know what? It's time to be disciplined. Time to do this seriously. And you started allowing your winners to run, and you started cutting off those losers fast, which is the exact opposite of what most retail traders do out there. Is, is they 
allow their losers to get bigger and bigger and they take their profits way too soon because they don't want to give them up. Is that what you're saying? Right. right. And, and believe it or not, I still let one of those get away from me every once in a while. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, you know, it, it's still a struggle. Okay. But yeah. I, I am doing a lot, lot better. Good deal. So how was your trading kind of before you joined Basecamp? Uh, up and down, like those equity curves that you show, you know, you know, you make a little bit of money, a little bit of money, you make a little bit more, and then you lose it all, and then some. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that, that that was me, and you know, it, there was just no consistency. Yeah. And if there was some gold that I lost, it. I said, "Well, I'm gonna go try coffee." Never okay. traded a contract in coffee, but I because gold took, you know, took yeah. a lot of. So kind of bouncing all over the place. I, Right, I said, let me try something else. I didn't give anything a chance, and just I, I didn't know how to trade. Period. Yeah, well, that's one of the things. So, kind of a lack of focus, a, and then b, you're kind of one of those people that were they were doing one or two steps forward and three or four steps backwards. So it's just right. kind of one of those roller coaster equity curves, where it's got slow hills and then giant drops. <laughs> so, what do you think was? your biggest obstacle before you started with working with base camp kind of keep you from, from uh, making money. Uh, if, with all the gurus, they never really taught, taught me a thing. Um, you know, like this is the way I do it. And that was it. And, you know, and if you weren't in the trade room, you weren't going to know how to trade, you know, uh, you were just following them. Uh, like you say, blindly. And I I don't do that with anyone anymore. Like, uh, I, I'll tell you, the biggest problem I have with is head and shoulders because my imagination isn't that great. So yeah. I just don't take head and shoulders because I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, so you were kind of bouncing around from, from guru to guru and, and nobody was really actually teaching you anything. It was just... This is what I do, and you can follow me or not. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. So what would you say that Basecamp has done then to help improve your trading? Uh, we learn there. You know, uh, the setup is there. They, you teach us, you know, this is why I took this trade, or this is why it's not a good trade. You know, and you, you let us know, you know, exactly why it worked, why it didn't work. Um, like, the other day, you know, I went and reviewed one of the videos from uh, about a year ago. You know, I do that every now and then. And you said, okay, if it breaks this line, the bonds are going to go up to 156, which was four points away. Sure enough, $4,000 $4, later, it hit right on the money. Yeah. Uh, so I can attest to you, you know, you teaching us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how to train. And that's one how of the things. The that's definitely one of the things we try to do here at Basecamp that that kind of sets us apart. Is we want you guys to learn, and, and you all as traders, members to to learn why the trades are taking place and learn how to do it yourself. We don't want people just blindly coming in and following us and placing our trades. We want you guys to be able to put together your own trading plan and and get be successful in your own right, and following a set of rules that fits your personality, which you've done a really good job of of yourself with the different spread trades you're taking and now you're, you're moving into a couple different swing trading and directional trading strategies that fit your personality, right? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Good deal. Uh, I've, come, I've come up with a couple of things, you know, and I'm still testing them, uh, you know, and it's with real money. I, I tried <laughs> paper trading for a uh -huh. while back in January. Uh, it didn't do anything for me. And yeah. I, you know, I said, well, you know, I'm not risking a lot of money. Uh, I'm just going to take real trades. Yeah. And that's what I've been doing. Well, good deal. Would you say then it was worth your investment coming in and joining us here at Base Camp and all the mentorships and stuff oh, you've been def through? Uh, definitely. I've taken a couple of mentorships, and then I was in the Evers program, and it, it paid for itself and then some. And, you know, and we got to share a lot of ideas with some of the other traders there. They're yeah. good traders. In, yeah. Really good traders in our base camp trading. Absolutely. No, I 100% agree. So if you could tell yourself kind of one thing, when you first started trading, knowing what you know now, so kind of looking back and saying, okay, if I knew what I knew now, 
when I first started, what would you tell yourself? What kind of advice would you give yourself? Um, I wish I had had discipline at the time with my trades. I mean, I have discipline in other man, uh, matters of life, you know, like I always get up on time, you know, and all that. I'm in the trade room all the time. But with the trading, I just didn't have it. Yep. Didn't have it at all. Yep. So you got to take it seriously. You have to be disciplined. And, and it's not just you have to be disciplined sometimes. It's you got to be disciplined all the times because the one or two times that, you, that you're that you not disciplined, the way we teach it is a couple of times you're not disciplined is going to be the couple of times you're going to blow up your account. Right. And oh, and one other item. I look at a lot of charts. I, I used to look at charts, you know, uh, whenever I have time, I, that's what I look at. Small time frames, you know, specifically, you know, say, okay, what's me? Why did this just go up? And I go tick by tick by tick, and it's that okay? I I see where it's developing, and so that has helped me out quite a bit. Good deal. So one last question for you here before we wrap up: just talking to all the other traders out there that are struggling with trading, kind of what would you tell them if you could give them any piece of advice? What would you say or suggest them doing in order to start making strides in the direction that you're in right now, which is starting to consistently make money Order uh, don't give up believe in yourself and go review the trades that you you've taken review them review the trades that Thomas uh, took and why they work go you know go from the left of the chart to the right just tick by tick and you can see it develop and uh, figure it out why you know, and and look at the uh, obviously the tick chart, five minute, thirty minute, wh whatever you use, you know, whatever your comfort level is, use those charts and evaluate. Yeah, and would you make would you recommend people getting a, kind of a mentor or a coach to help them along the way so they don't just lose money? You know what you did, where you said you were trading, oh. but you didn't really know what you were doing. Oh, definitely, because that's been. Uh, one one of the biggest advantages of being uh, in base camp trading, I took a couple of mentorship lessons with you. It was great. I mean, uh, I I got no galore. <laughs> anytime I need, I, you know, I, anytime I need to review something, you know, I just go to my uh, uh, notes, look up, you know, let's say monthly, uh -huh. and there it is. Good deal. You know, I whatever whatever it is that I want to review. I go to it by, you know, I paste the charts and wrote a lot of notes. Yeah. So, so you'd say definitely get a mentor, get a coach and then take notes and practice what you're learning. Go back and study charts in the past. And that's something I also do is go back and, and if you're taking a new strategy, go back and test it out, back test it on previous charts and go tick by tick and bar by bar, kind of see how, how it would play out. Yes. Yes. And, you know, and if you have that, uh, and if you can do a replay, if there's such a thing, you know, I, I know not all platforms have it, but if you can go back several months, and, you know, and do a replay and say, and say okay, I'm going to take this uh, trade here. It looks like a good setup and see if it works. Absolutely. Okay. Well, hey, Andres, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to, to sit here and talk to us. I appreciate it. Hey, and good luck going forward. I know you're doing really well. I can't wait to see where you are a year from now and do another follow-up interview. All right, it was my pleasure, and uh, thank you. thanks for everything, Tom. Appreciate it. All righty. Thanks, Andres. All right.